We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're gonna check out the desert botanical gardens. I've got a lot of botanical gardens, but not one in the desert, so let's go. The desert botanical garden is also located in Phoenix, Arizona. This garden boasts over 50,000 plants, which makes up 4,379 species. It's amazing to know that this place opened in 1939. And get this, it is 140 acres large. My brother was the one that recommended this place, so come join our family as we explore this desert paradise. Welcome back, Rocket School. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with the channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. I've never seen this much cactus in my whole entire life. Look at this. Look at. Oh, yeah, it's big, right? It's a big cactus. Oh, you got a sucker. Both of them do. Versley, this one right here, they call that one a barrel cactus because it's in the shape of a barrel. The barrel cactus does contain water in there, but it just isn't free flowing. As we were going around and I saw my brother showing us around, it's crazy to think that we almost didn't get to see him when he came here. My brother's here, but we're very lucky to have it because my boy's 10 years younger, but he's a heart attack. <laughs> like was that last week? Yeah. That's I like so bacon crazy. Too much. Uh, it's good. Well, it's good to have you and hang out and be part of this. And I uh, hope you're feeling better, my man. Yep. This is just a friendly reminder that we don't never know what tomorrow brings. So make sure you hug and let your loved one know how much you love them. We're trying to get as much as we can because we just finished the Phoenix Zoo. And now we're here at the Desert Botanical Gardens. And we're just trying to get as much as we can until it gets dark. I'm glad we got Elizabeth here because she's able to tell us a lot of things about all these different cactuses. Oh, those are tunas. Yeah. What's a tunas? Tunas prickly pear fruit, yeah. So we eat those. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very sweet. What do you make it with? I, we usually just take it off and then we just peel it and then just eat it like that. Or some people like to cook it and make it into marmalade. The one thing I like about this is there's a path and I don't have to worry about any rattlesnakes or scorpions biting me. It's a boojum. Oh man, look at the... Oh, that would hurt if you fell in that. Yeah, there's thorns all up in there. Oh, it's part of a cactus. I didn't realize that. <laughs> this is not like any botanical garden I've ever been to. Look at all this cactus. All these different kinds. Look at this one's blossoming. Called a palo verde. You can see a lot of these around Arizona. It's got a green trunk. Oh, it's the state tree. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what the Illinois state tree, if you know, put it in the comments down below. It's a great place to get Ooh, our kids tired. Yes. Yeah, you're getting a lot of steps, aren't you, Leon? Love how there's hills here. We live in the Midwest in Illinois. The highest thing we see are corn stalks. It's nothing like this. Yeah, I think one of the things I like is just right now during the sunset, walking through here. Yeah, and you can see the moon. It's right up there. You're right, there is the moon. Oh, this one would hurt if you grab this bad boy. Oh <laughs> the, the Chola Brincadora. Tequila comes from agave. What? <laughs> but it's only considered tequila if it's made in Jalisco. So if anyone else makes tequila in another state of Mexico, it's not tequila. Why is that? I don't know. I think it's just a staple of Jalisco. Oh, look at the little baby cactus. You see how they're little. Those guys are like mini. All right, looks like everybody got tired on me over here, guys. Ah, she's pregnant, so I guess she has an excuse. Yes. And, and carrying two people. <laughs> All right, here's a tour of the mountains. Right over here is Papago Butts. Right over here is Piesua Peak, and right all the way down there is Camelback Mountain. As parents, we make it a priority to instill in our kids a sense of curiosity by actively teaching them about the places we visit. And today, we are teaching them about the desert and the native plants that live there. The 
ability to store water is an adaptation that helps saguaros live in the desert where they can survive for several months without rain. Where were you taking us? One of the biggest cactus that you'll ever see. You think those are big? Wait till you see this next one. Man, I've just been amazed just looking around over here. Yeah, it's like a whole new world out here. So right here, we have the giant Mexican Cardone. These things are about 75 years old. So when I think of cactuses, this is what I think of, but I never knew it was going to be this tall. And they're huge. I feel short. Ah, uh, you're, you're short. Which is, which is, you know. Not very hard. No, no. <laughs> Oh, you're right, that is a red cactus. Wow. The Desert Botanical Garden was not a place we had on our list, but my brother was very insistent for us to go, and I'm glad I listened to the local because this was such an amazing place. I really like it here. That was a really great idea to come over here. Yeah. I would never think of going to a botanical garden in the desert. <laughs> Who would have known, right? Who would have known? This is probably the most underrated thing I've seen while being here in Arizona. Click the end card link right here if you want to learn more about the Phoenix Zoo.